So let's learn about something really important in college, which is your major. So what's a major? Major is your focus of study that ideally interests you, and it's often connected to your career. For instance, let's say you want to be a welder. You come to MJC, you major in welding, you earn your associate's degree. For many jobs, you can go right into the work world. Now, let's say you want to be an accountant. Well, to become an accountant, you need a bachelor's degree. So you earn 60 units at MJC, you transfer, earn roughly another 60 units, and then you can go on to become an accountant. Well, let's say you want to be a doctor. Well, you can't major in doctor, but you can major in an academic discipline that's associated with medicine, like biology or chemistry. You major in one of those, you get your degree in one of them, and then you go on to medical school for that advanced degree. Can you change your major? Absolutely. It's not written in stone. The main thing is that you want to major in a discipline you really like, one that interests you, so that when taking the classes in it, they're fun. What if you're not sure of what you want to do or what your major is? We recommend you take Guidance 111, Career Exploration. It's a great, fun, one-unit class where you learn a lot about yourself and where your interests lie and careers that line up with your person. Right in between those two is your major. It's also a great idea to always talk with a counselor to better see where your interests lie. Where can you find the list of MJC majors? Well, it comes down to what degrees we offer at MJC, so let's go there. So you want to come to the MJC website, click on Academics, and then over here on the left, Degrees and Certificates. And you'll see we have scores of degrees and certificates. So how does a major relate to a degree? Well, again, major is the focus of the degree, and a degree is a combination of classes, taking classes, earning units in major classes plus general education classes. For an associate's degree, it's 60 units. If you want to transfer to a, to a university, you'll earn 60 units and then transfer and to earn the bachelor's degree, you'll earn another 60 units there. So degree versus certificate. As far as a degree, like we just said, there are major classes combined with general education classes, and that'll earn you a degree. Now let's break this down a little bit as far as general ed goes. Let's say you do want that associate's degree and you want to stop after two years, that does a the job, then you're going to follow what's known as the Modesto Junior College transfer pattern. And all your coursework to earn the degree must be, the course numbers must be between 50 and 399. Well, let's say you want to transfer to a CSU. All of your 60 unit coursework must be between 100 and 299. Now, if you want to transfer to a UC, Similar to the CSU, your coursework must be between, your course numbers have to be between 100 and 299, but you also want to check with a counselor to verify transferability and unit limitation. Now let's look at, let's look to see where these general education patterns are. So coming back to the MJC website, let's go to Academics, click on Catalog, click on your year, your catalog year, and then you want to go to the back, to the index. So we want to find out which page where these general education patterns live. So here we go, general education patterns, and they are on pages 95 to 100. So we go there. Well, here's the first one. This is the Modesto Junior College general education pattern, and this lists all the, the courses in the general education pattern. You follow the directions as far as taking one in each. If you want to transfer to a Cal State University, then here's the transfer pattern for the Cal State for GEs, general education classes that is. And if you want to transfer to a UC, you're going to follow what's known as the IGETSI transfer pattern. This is also good for the CSU if you're not sure which system you want to transfer to. So, don't know where to go from here? But let's just say you want to change your major, but you don't know how to do it. It's easy. Just watch the video, How to Change Your Major. Or you can always come talk with a success specialist and or a counselor to create your educational plan. Or if you have any questions, we're here to help. Really, come see us. We want to help. That's our job. Who are we? Let's take a look. So to find out who we are, whom you might want to see, come to Student Services, 
scroll down, click on counseling, and then meet with your success team. Your success team is broken down by your major and your interests. So find your success team, contact us, and come see us. That's why we're here. We want to help you. Enjoy.